Hey everybody, I'm here again with another video for y'all with another reading. And uh, I hope everybody is doing okay. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm Dinesha. And welcome back if you've been around. You know, it's always good to have y'all back, okay? So again, I hope y'all are doing great. Alright. Um, this reading is just going to be like a message for you. I like to do this every so often, you know, because... Um, so, because it may be some things you need to hear at this moment, and I mean, it may or may not resonate with the situation, but I kind of don't want to put like a title, do this type of reading, because I don't want to like put like a specific title to it. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be a message, uh, for you. Um, so yeah, let's get into the group selection, okay? I'm going to use these to help with the group selection. It may play a role in a reading. It depends on how I feel when I get to it. So, regardless, please don't let it. I'm seeing Pisces. I know we're in Pisces season right now. So, Pisces want to make an appearance. We just got out of Aquarius. Well, we got out of Aquarius season and then Pisces. So, okay. So, group one is going to be uh, Square Challenge. These cards are jumpy today. Mmm. Chiron healing. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I should know what that is by my second house. Alright. So, y'all may hear some noise in the background. Or you may hear some thunder because it's raining outside. But, but yeah. So, group one... Please do not let some of these scare y'all, okay? So, group one is a square challenge. Group two is a uh, Chiron healing. Uh, and group uh, three is second house, okay? Yeah, so... Take your time when making your selection. Um... But, you know, you must always keep in mind this will be general reading, so not everything will resonate with every single person out there as it is for a collective. So just take whatever feels right for you and uh, leave some other messages to other people. You do not have to accept none of these messages. You can reject them. That is always an option. And with that being said, we're going to get started with group number one, okay? So welcome to all the lovely individuals who selected group one. You guys picked square challenge. Now, um, this card may have, you know, a meaning to your current situation right now. Like maybe you're going through a, a huge challenge right now. Maybe life is challenging. Or maybe you're taking on a challenge. Um, you're struggling for some of y'all. Um... There may be a lot of tension in a certain situation or something like that. Maybe it's a lot of uh, stagnation or things are just at a standstill. There may be stalls. Um, maybe you have a lot of pressure on you. Maybe you're frustrated. It's a lot of demands. Just going on based on the energy of what's coming through here with the square. Um, maybe going through a, a, a difficult time. You know, you're hurting. You're trying to something... You're hoping for something to work out. Maybe, you know, there's something uh, you need to reconcile or someone you need to reconcile with. But, I mean, if you resonate with that, then you know for sure this will be a reading. Um, again, it may or may not play a role in it, but we'll, we'll see. All right. What uh, messages? It's for group one. Kind of feeling this card right here. Okay. Let's see what you got. Dog barking advice from a friend. We have this card slowly but surely getting ahead. And then we have Rooster 
an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. There's a lot of animals in this group, so, um, you know, maybe these animals have a meaning, but doesn't have to. So maybe some of you have been feeling like things have been stagnated, like stagnated or like things have been at a standstill, and so you're frustrated. Um, but what's happening here is that it's going at um, the pace that, that it's supposed to be going at, or, or like you can't, you know, rush uh, this situation. You can't, you got to trust the process. That's what I'm hearing. And, you know, when you start something or you're doing something, it, it's, it's going to be slow in the beginning. And then things are going to start moving, you know, picking up speed, you know, what is the saying? Um, whatever the situation is, depends on if you resonate with this or not. Uh, that saying, what, oh, progress, not perfection as well. That's something I'm hearing. Maybe that resonates with some of y'all. That's something that's coming through here. Um, also, maybe, you know, some of you are creating a stall or a halt because you're trying to be perfect and um, nobody's perfect. And, you know, just work with what you got. That's another message that I'm hearing. Um some of you, maybe you have, you know, uh, seeked out, uh, tried to get some advice, and then, you know, you didn't like the advice that you received, and so now you're upset about that. And so maybe it's a tension between you and a friend, or, uh, you know, constructive criticism happened, now you're feeling some type of way about it, maybe there was an argument, um, maybe you just got a little butt hurt or something. I don't want I don't want to say you got butt hurt or maybe you took it to the heart to you took it to the heart and it wasn't that deep or something. That's something that I'm hearing. But that's not for everybody. And so that can be a little bit of arrogance that's coming through here. Or maybe, you know, some of you are dealing with an arrogant person. Um and so, you know, that's creating some type of uh, tension. <sighs> Some of you could be dealing with somebody at this time again or dealing with uh, somebody who you have a close relationship with. And so, you know, there may be a lot of tension between y'all because that person may be arrogant or both of y'all may just be exactly the same. So y'all butting heads. I'm going to actually pull y'all one more card. Some of you, some I'm hearing a message talking about some of you not being realistic about something. It's time to be realistic. Also, it's okay to seek out advice if you need it. Like, seek out some advice about your current situation. And you won't be bothering nobody. That's something that I'm hearing. Cam will persevere and you will overcome problems. Yeah, if you're going through a challenge right now, um, and it's another animal, persevere and you will overcome um, these problems. Like, if you're going through a problem right now, you go overcome it. It's going to work out for the better. Um, some of you are really, really hard-headed about a situation or when it comes to something. So, you know, you got to, you got to, like, get through this. Or, like, I'm hearing that saying. What is that saying? A hard head makes a soft ass. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that saying. Um, but, you know, that could apply to you and your situation. Sometimes it's you yourself who causing an issue. I'm not sure if that's what that saying mean, but um but that's something that, that came through. Okay, you may be frustrated in this current situation, but you know you're gonna get through it, it's gonna work out. That's something that I'm hearing. Let's get you some tarot cards. What's the that I'm feeling deeper into what's, what's going on here? We got the seven of wands. Some of you, maybe you're just really defensive right now. The queen of swords. Page of wands. And ace of wands. I'm hearing some, some of you are being defensive. Are you creating your own problems? Um, now, I'm not saying that all of y'all are creating your own problems, but I feel like you making a certain situation more complicated than it need, than it is, or you just 
like you kind of doing a little bit too much when you need to loosen up a little bit about a certain situation or something that's coming through here. Some of y'all are being a little bit mean or like really, it, it could be that you're being mean to yourself. Um, or again, you, uh, maybe somebody tried to give you advice and you didn't want to take the advice because you thought maybe it, it, it may be advice you needed. Sometimes the things that we need to hear is not what we want to hear, okay? Um, and so... You know, maybe that made you feel some type of way. So you got into that queen of swords and you like, don't, don't, don't try to tell me uh, what to do or how to do it. Or, you know, the person or, uh, or whatever, our spirit even, or, um, is gave you the, like the truth and you don't want to accept it. And I feel like, you know, also there's a message coming through, like accepting it as truth. And also, some of you are trying to turn a blind eye to somebody's behavior, to an arrogant person's behavior, because maybe you just care about them a lot. Or, um, you know, this can be a family member or anybody, like maybe somebody you're romantically involved with, a friend. And so, um, you care about them a lot, so you don't want to, you've been holding your tongue. Maybe you need to start being truthful and honest with this person as well. That's another message coming through here. This is a general reading, so just take whatever resonates. Um, some of y'all need to move on from a certain mindset, from a certain person, and then that's where you're going to find, um, uh, I'm hearing that's where you're going to find a new reality. That's where you're going to build off of, you know, these new ideas you have. But it seems like so for some of y'all, a certain person holding you back, are you holding yourself back? Okay. Somebody has taken a spark out of you, or the spark is like, not within you anymore or something that I'm hearing. Also, a lot of you have not been really paying attention to messages that you've been getting from spirit and spirit wants you to listen to, you know, these messages. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's see what's... Oh. All right, these are going everywhere. I'm sorry, y'all. These are going everywhere. Let me try to get these up. Uh, there's a lot of energy in the cards today. It may be because a lot of y'all are on an edge or like spirit has been trying to get you, want to get you these messages. Um, just give me a second here because they just fell all over the place. <laughs> all right, I got them. Let's get into it. But yeah, the cards like really jump it and they interesting. We have unexpected miracles from the creator. It's time to take a closer look at the situation. Shake things up, make it spicy, make it fun. Bring some color, sunny improvement, serendipity. This is something that is in fact chance all is orchestrated by the divine. I feel like this has something to do with the pace of something that some of y'all are manifesting or something that you want to create. There's going to be unexpected uh, miracles from the creator as well with the Ace of Wands coming through here. That gives me, you know, that's the creator energy. Um, and a lot of things are like serendipity as well. This is something that is, in fact, chance all orchestrated by the divine, of course. Now, some of you, maybe it's something that you're doing. And again, it's like a stall in something or something that's like moving slow. Maybe you need to shake things up, make it a bit spicy. I mean, you have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, which is like a spice type of energy. Make it fun. Make it more lively. Bring like some energy into it or, you know, bring your energy into it. Bring a little bit of yourself into something that you're trying to do. Or something that you're trying to create for some of y'all that makes sense. Um, if you're going through a challenge right now, again, unexpected miracles are happening. It's just for this particular moment. Now, it, it could be something that's going on again that is creating, you know, a struggle. And you need to take a closer look at the situation or maybe a closer look at this person. What's going on? What's the issue? I'm going to pull one more. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, so stop listening to what other people are saying about your path. I mean, it is your path after all. Now, again, advice from a friend. Um, I feel like this kind of is you, you know, fighting back. Like, okay, don't tell me what to do. I'm not going to. It's good to get advice from people. Of course, you don't have to take 
you know, all of their advice and whatever the case may be. Um, and maybe this is you fighting back, like, okay, this is my path. I'm not going to listen to what people are saying. But at the same time, it's good to uh, to get some advice from people just to see what they got to say and things of that nature. So I'm going to get one more. We're going to get this. We have telepathic communication, but also some, some telepathic communication is coming through here. Like you've been um, getting messages from spirit, but some of you guys are ignoring the message. Which is, I mean, that is an issue, like ignoring the message. So start paying attention to the messages from spirit, okay? Let's get one more. For some reason, I said I was going to just pull like four of them, but I want to pull another one. We have, you are a star seed, star child. That's why you feel, slash always feel different. There's others like you. And this is a reminder that you are a star seed. So a lot of what you're going through or the challenges that you're facing is because you're a star seed. So your path is going to be different from um, other souls that have incarnated on earth. Um, it can be very a very lonesome path or you feel like you're in it by yourself. A lot of star seeds feel that way. And there's been a lot of telepathic communication from you from, you know, a lot of your star seed um, brothers and sisters, if you want to call it that, um, or your star seed family. So make sure you're paying attention to those messages as well. And also from spirit, you have a divine connection stronger than, you know, other souls on earth. So, you know, make sure you're paying attention to that as well. Let's see. See what the angel ancestors and ancestors have to say. We have shaman trust in higher forces, and you need to trust right now. You know, trust in higher forces, um, because higher forces are working really close with you. Again, this is something that is in fact chance, all orchestrated by the divine. Of course, trust in those forces. Trust that you know there's unexpected miracles coming into your life. Trust that this is your path. Of course, it's good to take advice, but you know, um, this is your path. So it's, I mean, it, at the end of the day, it is going to be your decision. I'm um, trusting these higher forces because you are a higher force. You are a star seed. And if something here is going on and you're not understanding what's the reason behind it, take a closer look at the situation. Um, it may be something that you're missing, you know, in the situation. Okay. Let's get a angel. Uh, answers card. So if you have a question, you can ask something, but you know, you may or not, may or may not get an answer. I can't control what comes out of here, but I'm going to do my own interpretation anyway, but you're welcome to ask a question. Let's see. We have forgiveness. Now, some of y'all need to forgive Maybe a certain, there was this energy about like some issues with a certain person or people coming through here, forgiving a person for, not for them, but for yourself, you know what I'm saying, about forgiveness, working through forgiveness, also maybe forgiving yourself for mistakes that you made or when you make a mistake, it's okay, like don't be so hard on yourself um, and like move on from it, you need to move on from a certain situation that happened with a particular person. Um, be that be a family member, a friend, an ex-friend, or ex-person, or, you know, anybody who you had interest with, or people, um, you need to forgive. Again, not for them. You already know that for yourself, so you can move forward and and, and just um, not let that situation keep holding you back. You keep hanging on to that situation, and it's not, it's keeping you held back. And so maybe this advice from a friend can be, like, maybe if, if you need to, maybe you should seek out some some type of therapy that will help you get through something that happened in your past, possibly. Uh, sit down with this person and talk things out, because I'm not going to uh, take just take this stuff at, at face value. but And that may be a challenge for you, but it may be something that you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to pull some letters and numbers, okay? Just for some extra confirmation. Not everybody gonna resonate with this. I'm not trying to really spell anything out. This is just a double confirmation for those of you who need it, okay? So we have an O, a T. Oh, we got the number five, the number six, and the number nine. This can be uh, relevant to you in some type of way. 
Yeah, I keep hearing seeking out help, so I don't know. I'm hearing pot meets kettle. Well, you know, pot my pot meets kettle. Uh, you know, this ain't all that. Like living in a throwing stones, living in a glass house or something. So maybe that resonates with a certain situation that y'all going through. Um, I'm hearing the wolf animal is important for some of y'all. Some of y'all want something to happen now, but, you know, things take time. I'm hearing win. You will win. Not. I'm hearing, like, this is not the person for you. This is not a permanent situation as well. Fix your attitude. That's something I'm saying. Like, you always have an attitude or somebody is always getting an attitude with you. Um, a fix your attitude you have towards something. Postponement. Like, something is being postponed because you're not ready for it as well. That's what I'm hearing. You have to be prepared for it. You know, it's going to come at the right time when you're ready for it. Because, you know, there's been many cases where... People have stuff that come into their life and they're not quite ready for it, so they run away from it. Now, I am saying the word stop. So stop procrastinating. Stop, like, trying to be perfect for some of y'all because that's procrastinating. Of course, it's causing stagnation or stall. Stop trying to be perfect because it's causing things to stall. I'm also hearing up something about weight. Like, weight on it. Oh, Okay. Saturday, I'm hearing something about like the Saturday, like the day. Um, some of y'all, maybe some of y'all birthday falls on a Saturday this year. Or maybe it was on a Saturday like last year or something like that. But something about like um, Saturday. Or like something is on Saturday. I'm also hearing like sit still, but that's kind of all I'm getting. I mean, you could try to get something from these letters yourself but that's all i have for everybody who selected group one thank y'all for watching please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the reading that would be very much appreciated um if you would like a private reading from me my email is in the description um you can send me a message and i can get with something of course you know if this group didn't resonate or you just want to hear another message you always welcome to pick a different group that is fine and until next time wonderful people bye bye hopefully you come back for another one So, hello and welcome to everybody who selected group um, two. This is y'all's reading, okay? And uh, you guys picked this card here, Chiron. Uh, if I'm saying that right, healing. So, this may or may not resonate with you. I'm going to go ahead on and read some messages from here. So, maybe some of you are natural born healers. Um, you just have healing energy. Uh, maybe you may find that a lot of people come to you for... A comfort or lean on you during difficult times that can just be a confirmation for some of y'all um you have experienced a lot of growth maybe some of you have made amends on, with things that are, has happened to you be that be you know recently or in a recent past or in a long long time ago um you've released a lot you've been through a lot of personal development and a lot of issues you had probably was inherited or just something that has happened due to you know um, your bloodline or just like your, your, um, what am I, what word am I looking for? Like something to do with your ancestors. Um, you've been through the, through self-doubt and a lot of you always, you know, maybe not, I don't want to say it like that. Maybe some of y'all always 
Not always. I keep saying that. Some of y'all still uh, kind of go through the self-doubt, but it's not as worse as it was. See, generational trauma. You've been through shame. You've been shamed maybe for things um, that you can't control. And, you know, you are sensitive because you are a natural healer as well. So empathy, uh, empath energy coming through here. Maybe some of you are like a Claire sentient. That's your strongest Claire. Um, we have forgiveness coming through here. You are a superpower, vanity, vanity, cleansing, softness, pain. So a lot of people who the most, like, I'm not saying all, but a lot of souls who are the most sensitive are who who are just really soft and who are caring and go through a lot. And I, because they went through a lot, that's why they be in that energy. So that's why you like that, okay? So if you resonate with that, then you know for sure this your reading. So let's see what information, what other information there. Maybe that may play a role in here or not. It could just be like the, something just resonates with who you are as a person. So let's see what messages they have for you. This one wants to come out. So I pulled a significant amount for the last group too. So let's see what y'all got. You have love. I feel like you guys are full of love. You're loving individuals. You got a big heart, goldfish, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. Yeah, you've been through a lot of personal development, growth, personal growth, a lot of spiritual growth. <laughs> Yeah, you got a big heart, love, deep affection, and caring. You're you are very caring individuals. You're very affectionate. Love. Maybe you are hopelessly in love, like hopeless loving people. We have muddle unclear thinking. Um, you've been in this period of muddle unclear thinking. Maybe it's like that for you now, but I feel like you guys are in the energy of love. You may be attracting love into your life, so maybe this is a message for you. Like love will soon be entering your life because maybe you've been through that personal growth, that personal development, so you're ready to walk of love into your life. Maybe some of you just met somebody and you're really feeling this person. This could be your sign. Like, just go for it. Like, just, you know, ease into it. Maybe you may be afraid because of past relationships or whatever, or whatever the case may be, but um, are just scared to get hurt. Like, let down your guard a little bit, okay? Because love is entering into your life. Love is coming. I feel like this person really cares about you a lot. For some of you, you just met somebody, or you're talking to somebody, or this person that's coming in is going to really love and care about you. So, you know, maybe some of you are, like, thinking unclear. Like, I don't know. Like, you're confused. Or, you know, you don't know about this person. Uh, But, you know, the it's clear. The message here is actually clear. It's not unclear that... You know, um, this person will have good intentions or they have good intentions. Also, there's going to be an increase in wealth and spiritual growth. Like uh, financially, I'm seeing love coming in and I'm also seeing spiritual growth. And that's because of the healing that y'all been through. So this all you. We have, yeah, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So you're on the right path. So therefore, it's bringing in a lot of loving energy. Now, this can also be platonic love as well. So I see a divine friendship coming through as well. That's just because of all the healing that you've been through. I want to pull another one. All right. We have dark man. Dealings are relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. So some of you, um, maybe there's a relationship with someone with either, you know, this person might have dark hair, dark features, dark skin, and dark hair. Um, but for some of you, maybe there is a significant male or man that is going to be playing a role into your life. That could be confirmation that, you know, somebody is coming on in here. Whether it be a man or it be a woman, but we have do have a person showing up. So, so that's... Pretty cool, man. Some tarot cards. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. 
the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords. See, I feel like for some of you, you have a difficult time trusting, or you feel like something is deceptive, or you being deceived, or um, something can't be true because it's just not realistic. And I feel like you need to let go of that mindset because um, that's what's keeping you from the love that you want or the, the love that you want around you or from the things that you love or from the person who's going to love you. And so you need to release that just because you've been hurt in the past or you've been lied to in the past or you're scared of being deceived. Um, you shouldn't be in this energy, you know, that why would you live in fear like that? So I feel like y'all need to dead that with the 10 of uh, swords coming through here. I'm sorry if you hear coughing in the background with the 10 of swords coming through. I feel like y'all need to dead that. Some of y'all need to still work on that. You may be still working through healing just from trauma that you have been through, like, you know, and so, I mean, it's understandable if, you know, you've been through some things, so it's hard for you to trust right now. But I feel like you need to trust spirit as well. Trust spirit and know that you're loved and you're protected. Now, you have the higher thing. That's a lot of y'all spiritual growth that you've been through and how high you are uh, in your spiritual development. But also that's commitment coming through here. Like, because you were committed to your spiritual growth and to everything with the Eight of Pentacles, the, the, the higher thing coming through here, you you being rewarded. But also because you worked on yourself, there is some level of commitment that's coming into your life. Um, somebody you will have a deep commitment with. So that's a beautiful thing. Let's see. Um, I forgot what I had pulled next. Oh, what is this? Let's see. I'll probably pull a few more after this. Let's see what you got. We have move on from your ex. They don't care. So, again, some of you, I'm not going to take this at just face value, but some of you are still holding on to something that happened with an ex or with somebody in the past who hurt you. Therefore, you scared of being deceived again or being hurt again or just being with a deceptive person. And so, for some of you, maybe you just met somebody, but you're not sure if you can trust them or maybe, you know, you're scared of commitment or something like that are scared like if somebody comes to you like they're gonna hurt you but you need to move on from what, what happened with your ex okay um because they not holding on to the situation they done moved on they don't care about you or some of you maybe you still hanging on to the ex it's time to move on so you can find real love true love all right because you i mean you're on the right path but you're still holding on to you know this ex or this energy from the past and you need to let that go you will come out on top Regardless, you will come out out on top because, again, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So if that has anything to do with something you're doing currently, whether that be in your career or something like that or going to a certain destination, then you're on the right path. So keep moving forward for some of y'all. We also have natural gift of leadership. So you guys are natural born leaders. Um, maybe you're like pet number one. You don't have to be, but you know, like pet number ones are known to be the leaders. Again, you don't have to be, but um, yeah, you will come out on top. You will come out as number one. You're a leader, right? The higher fans are like the higher fan is like a leader, a people who pe a person that people look up to. So you are a leader. People want to follow you and listen to you. We have self pleasure, pleasing oneself. A masturbation, eat something bad, explore your body, make yourself sexy. So um, some of you can have some insecurities about yourself. And so you need to start showing yourself this can be self-love as well by, you know, um, maybe dressing up, doing something nice for yourself. Um, exploring your body, see, uh, maybe see what your body can do, maybe through self-pleasure or, I mean, it could be. I mean, we all adults here, you know what I mean? So... Um, this can be through self pleasure, um, exploring your body. Look for things that you love about yourself, because again, this can be self love. You need to start loving and deeply caring for yourself, or maybe some of you are doing that. So keep that up. Um, but um, yeah, in order to be pleased by other people, you know, please yourself or just discover what your body likes. So therefore, when you do um, become, you know, become intimate sexually with another person, you'll know. Well, if this person be like, what do you want me to touch you? What do you want to do? What are the things you're like? Hey, you know, I like this. This is what turns me on, such and such and such. Okay, so if that makes sense to some of y'all, okay? So, okay, so I don't need to pull no more of those for y'all. 
you know it's gonna be little messages uh sprinkled here and there so because it's a general reading so just you know again take who resonates and leave them other messages to other people we have direction guarding choose your path now you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life because you've chosen your path um, and also, your path is your path alone. is nobody else's path. A group one had a message like that as well from a different card. But um, you're headed into the in the right direction. That's what I'm sensing here. Um, the direction guardian is is guiding you, and that's why you're on the right path. Um, maybe you feel kind of confused if you're on the right path or not. And so this is your message saying that you know you are on the right path because the direction guardian is guiding you, but it's also up to you to choose your path. The direction guardian will guide you once you make that decision, once you make whatever path, you know, you choose. Maybe some of you could be in the two of swords energy, so you don't know if you're on the right path or not, and that could be just your answer here. You're on the right path. It just mother unclear thinking. Maybe I'm worried that i am said the same thing before, but I'm worried it different. But that's something that's coming through here, like the direction guardian is leading you. But also, you know, you are, you are a natural born leader so you should know that you're on the right path because you maybe you help other people find their path you may be somebody who again people lean on during difficult times and when they don't know what to do and so yeah maybe you have direction guardian energy let's see oh and uh, i forgot to mention that's an angel answers card so if you do have a question you can Go ahead on and, uh, you know, ask a question, but you may or may not get an answer to it because I can't control what comes out. Um, so I'm going to do my own interpretation anyway. So let's see what you guys got. We have get more information. Hmm. Get more information. Maybe some of you need to get more information on something. Maybe on the direction you need to go. Let me pull a tarot card for this. Can we clarify this? On why we got to get more information. We have the moon. Yeah, you feel like something is being hidden. Like some get more information about something that you you feel like you something that's hidden or something that seems mysterious to you. Um, the moon is like unseen energy, or maybe get more information about what path to choose for some of y'all on um, what path you need to take get more information about your natural talent get more information by tapping into your intuitive abilities can we clarify the direction guardian i feel like i'm gonna clarify direction guardian hmm. page of pentacles yeah discover the direction like I don't know, it's kind of, you know, the Page of Pentacles is like starting out on something new. Maybe search for something that you, you can be good at or like just find out. Um, maybe it's something that you're taking interest in and, and this can be a sign like go ahead on and try to see what this is all about. Or try. I'm hearing something about practice makes perfect. Um well, that's interesting, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to pull some letters and numbers for extra confirmation. You know, this, can, this is just confirmation for people who need it. You know? You don't even have to listen to this part of the reading. Hmm. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. Y'all got more than the last, and letters. Y'all got more than the last group. So let's see what's coming through here for you guys. Fives. So these numbers may resonate with you in any sort of way. Take them however you want to take them. Um, this is your reading. So do what you, whatever you want to do with these uh, numbers and letters. Oh, it's a three here too. Okay. Yeah, some of you, you point out your flaws a lot. And it's like, your flaws are what makes you who you are, right? Unique. 
And maybe that flaw, again, that flaw is what makes you unique. And maybe you can, like, benefit off of that particular flaw that you have, you know. Also, go with the flow. I'm not really trying to spell nothing out, but you guys can spell something. Or, you know, maybe it's something that needs your attention. You can do whatever you would like. Oh, we also have, dang, the only thing we're missing is an E. We would have had love here, but it can still be love here. Because, I mean, we do have an L O D. So, love is here. Um, I'm just going by, like, the beginning. of the, the letters can be words that come to mind. I'm hearing something about, I don't want to see a D here, but I'm hearing something about dare. Um, I'm kind of hearing dare to be different, or it's okay to be different. Or maybe something, it's something unique about y'all, like maybe about your face or about your appearance. And you should, like, embrace that uniqueness because you can, it can benefit you in some type of way. Um, some of you, maybe you grew up in a rural area, or maybe you live in a rural area. Um, this could just be confirmation. It's your reading session that you resonate with all the other messages. Um, again, going with the flow. I'm also hearing something about spiritual visitation. So there may be a spiritual visitation in your dream soon where you will receive information. It's not you versus the world. It's you versus yourself. That's something that I'm hearing. It's you versus yourself. You're your own competition. That's something that I'm hearing. Some of you, you have this thing where you like, I just wish I can go back and change things and make it. The reason why it happened, it was meant to happen that way, right? It was meant to happen that way. So you can't change what happened in the past or you can't change the path that you, I mean, you can, you can change your path, but you can't change how, what led you up into this point because you're at the point you're supposed to be at right now. That's something, that's a message coming through here. You have a lot of flavor. I'm seeing flavor. Flavor. Like, again, your flaws give you flavor. I'm probably not. That, that don't even look like it's spelled right. <laughs> but it gives you flavor. Taste. Um, spice. You know. Yeah, flavor. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all actually, like, cook or something like that. You can be a chef or you cater or you work at a restaurant. That can just be confirmation that you're reading or that has something to do with you coming out on top. And if you do cooking or something like that. Um, but, again, flavor. Add some flavor to your... Give yourself some flavor. Give yourself some pleasure. You know, eat something that's considered bad. Treat yourself here and there sometimes. Um... You stop being so strict when it comes. It doesn't matter what it is. What it, I'm hearing the message like stop being so strict. Like being so strict is not going to do nothing but make it's going to cause you to fail. You know what I mean? So stop being so strict and find a balance. That's something that I'm hearing. Oh, okay. In order, I'm hearing something about order. Olive, olives. Uh, maybe a name Oliver is important. Olive. Olives, Olivia, I don't know, that's what I'm saying, because I'm seeing like the O-L-V, um, opera, I don't know, maybe some of y'all opera singers or something, I don't know, <laughs> I'm seeing like an opera, I'm hearing Olaf, isn't that from, uh, Olaf is from the snowman, right, from, uh, what's the name of that, uh, movie, <sighs> what's the name of that damn movie, I can't think about that movie, um, Cause that gotta be one of that's a uh what the name of that movie is. Oh, um I can't think but it. it's the movie with Let It Go, the song Let It Go on there. Or maybe it's something you need to let go. Or like something about the winter since that is a snowman. Um What is the name of that damn movie? I cannot think about the name of that movie. <laughs> Um, it's going to come to me once I get out of this group watch. Once I, <laughs> uh, frozen, that's what it is, frozen. Or maybe you feel frozen or you feel, I don't know, frozen or it, it feels like a cold time right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, winter is important. I know currently we still in winter, but spring coming. It depends on where you live at, but yeah, spring coming. So by the end of, by the end of winter, maybe you may have a an answer with something. Something about ordeal. Something about your ordeal. 
are making a big deal. Okay, so that's all I have for everyone who selected group two. I'm going to close it out. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the reading or you did like the reading. That would be very much appreciated. Of course, you know, if this group didn't resonate, you're welcome to pick a different group. Um, or if you want to just pick a, another group, if you want to hear another message, that is totally fine. If you would like a private reading from me, my email is in the description. So send me a message and I can see what I can hook you up with. And until next time, beautiful people, um, hopefully you guys come back for another one. That would be wonderful. Bye-bye. So welcome to everybody who selected group three. Um, this will be our reading. This is second house assets. Um, so maybe you know, um, you you guys are you in a mindset where you want to succeed in the material world, like you. All you think about is finances or increasing your finances or you want to be up there earning a lot um, or you want to live a luxurious life for some of y'all. You just want to make more money for some. Um, so it's all about possessions and finances and, um, you know, uh, maybe you want to use your talents to achieve this. And um, I don't know, maybe some of y'all working on your credit score. I mean, I'm just going by what's on the card. Um, maybe you want to make improvements to your credit score. Maybe you are like you're trying to build up your credit at this time. This can just be confirmation that you're reading. Uh, you just want to be secure. Maybe you're a person who you care a lot about aesthetics and like having stuff look a certain way. You want to live a certain lifestyle. So this is confirmation for that. Um, maybe you know you work with clothing or your wardrobe or you do something with fashion for some of y'all, not everybody. Um, or you want to be able to buy whatever you want, um, be that be clothes or like just material things in general, and you just want to have a certain lifestyle. Um, I don't know, it's, it's something like that coming through here for this group. And so you aiming for that for some of y'all. So this can play a role in the reading. It doesn't have to, but this can just be confirming that this is your reading. Okay. Oh, Lord. See, I've been dropping stuff, y'all, throughout the reading. Like, I've been dropping stuff. The car's been jumping. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Hopefully, this light don't cut off because I sure hit that plug. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, about your assets. Whew. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling kind of out of breath for some reason. Not because I've been over, but um, that, it could be because I've been over. <laughs> but um, probably some of y'all just been working really hard. And so maybe there's a break that needs to be. You need a break or something. Okay. Time to take a break. Okay. I think you guys got the most of these. So let's see. We have bird waiting for news package or letter. So some of you can be waiting on news or package or letter. We have career, exactly. A lot of you career focused or you want to like invest a lot in your career or your career, you know, is about to take off. We have hand in need of assistance and guidance. Feeling tied down, frustrated. Okay. Tree affairs with your family. I actually want to pull one more. So let's see why. Okay. And we have Fox. Resourcefulness. Yeah, resources, especially in business. Now, some of you, maybe you are some business owners or you want to own your own business or um, you're trying to work for a very important company. Uh, like some of you, maybe you even work in, um, 
What word am I looking for? I cannot think about that damn word. Maybe you work in like the corporate or something like that. And so you're trying to build up with that. But some of you, you're feeling kind of uh, tied down. You're feeling kind of frustrated about something. Maybe it's something to do with your career or your finances. Or maybe you just like waiting to hear back from something that you applied for. Or like waiting to hear back from a certain position. And so... Um, yeah, because I feel like some of you, you want to help your family. Like, you want to be at a place and, like, where you want to, like, or maybe the family you will create in the future. Like, you want to be able to assist and be of, and be of help to your own family. So, you're trying to build up, like, your resources and, and, like, be the one to be able to take care of your family because, um, that's just something that you always want to do. Maybe you didn't really have a lot growing up, so you want to be the one to be of assistance to your family. I mean... You know, um, maybe you just feel like you owe that to your parents. Now, you, of course, you don't owe your parents nothing because, I mean, you didn't ask to be born and your parents did their job. But you feel like it's, you owe a parent or you owe your parents uh, um, a better life. Or you just want to, like, like, want them to, like, live a, a nice life. You want to be the one that brings that comfort to your family, however way you want to get that. Um... And so some of you kind of feeling tied down and frustrated. Like you may be making enough money, but you're not making enough to where it's you able to provide for, you know, your fam bam, you know? Um, so that's something that I'm hearing coming through here. And it's like you just have to like I'm hearing like that word, of course, I'm hearing patience coming through here. Like you gotta be patient with the your situation right now, okay? We have the Eight of Wands. We have a message coming through here, which you will be hearing back soon. We have the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Interesting. We we'll have these two cards. Page of Cups. Yeah, so this is a message. A message. You will hear a message that you will love. Um, and this is like, this is good energy coming through with the Ace of Wands and Eight of Wands. Like a message coming in soon. And that message, you know, is guaranteed. Like maybe you may be approved for something. Whatever. A lot of you, which you, you send in something that you, you have a degree in something. Or um, these people like your mind. They like your intellect. They like the way you, how your interview was. They love your communication. They love your presentation. And so I've seen like a information of approval come through if you resonate with that message also whatever you make soon you know make sure you be resourceful too like um make sure you're saving up and being careful what you invest your money in as well in this process uh towards uh, maybe because everybody in different stuff so i don't know uh, maybe some of you are using your talent using your creative abilities maybe some of you are performers or some of you are dancers or maybe some of you probably you on stage and stuff like that um so maybe you had an audition or something of that nature and so you just want to know like i wonder if you know and you're gonna be hearing back soon and it may be maybe for some of y'all it may be more of a smaller role or you don't have a big role in something but it's just enough to get you started out and so that's that's just good news in general because you could have got like disapproved or um or maybe you know they may send you somewhere else instead of working with them it depends on what it is, like, because this is going to resonate for a whole bunch of different stuff. They may recommend you to another place or to another uh, person for something. I don't know. It's something like that, if that resonates. <sighs> so, let's see what else we have coming through here. I may pull some more, but for now, I may do it on phone. We have backup plan. Another alternative plan be try something else, course change. Now, some of you, um, maybe you had to, like, change your course. Again, I was hearing, like, some people may recommend you to another place or, like, send you to another place so your course may change. Remember I was saying that? Or, like, they may be like, not here, but we're going to send you here because this may be better for you. It may be a better opportunity. Also, I just feel like I'm reading this intuitively. A better opportunity is coming in for you. Maybe what you're doing right now is the plan B. So this may be your plan B may actually work. Also, maybe you should start thinking of a plan B if something does not work out. 
Um, there are there's another alternative to a current situation. Okay, we have tarot and oracle read the cards. Maybe some of y'all, you know, you've been turning to your tarot and oracle cards, or your oracle cards, tarot cards, whatever the case may be, for guidance. And it, the cards been giving you certain information. So you're not, you don't really trust yourself when you read your own cards. So maybe that's why you're watching this video. Are you been getting a personal reading? And so it's giving you the same information for some of y'all. So maybe you should start like, you know, not just listening to what the cards tell you, but listening to yourself. If you feel drawn to it, you know, um, go for it. Or if you feel like you're getting the same answer, then believe in it, right? Also, maybe some of y'all read tarot and oracle cards, and this can just be confirmation that you're reading. We have a congrats is in order. Look, so congratulations, party time. So I feel like some of you are going to hear back that you're waiting on a pack of new letter. You're going to get a letter back, an email, a call, or something like that, where it's going to be a congratulations going to be in order, right? So you may be asking, like, will I get this job or will I get this position? And so it's going to be part of the time. Like, this could be confirmation. It's going to be a message that you love, right? And we have practice makes perfect. I heard that for a different room. Like, practice makes perfect. Like, you practice some or if you continue to practice, um, next time you do it, it'll be better. Like, uh, like a course change. Maybe you need to do, make, do more practice, especially if you audition for something or practice your speech. Uh, your communication, practice your performance, like, it's something like that. I'm excited for y'all. What's going on here? Like, oh my God, like a congrats is in order. Wow. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all gonna have to come back and tell me. We have, you'll find what you're looking for. Trust, absolutely. So whatever you're looking for, you'll find it, okay? We have a new beginning, and soon Ace of Wands, a new beginning. So, yeah, I, that's why I say, like, congrats in the, is in all the Ace of Wands. Like, a new beginning is coming through here with this congrats. Like, this con like this thing that you will achieve here, to apply for, uh, or you... It whatever the situation is, it's going to bring in a new beginning. Sometimes you just have to let go and let God... And let the situation go... You're going to get your answer. Um, some of y'all going to hear the answer that you want. Some of y'all will be transport, transport, like they will refer you to a different place. Or, hey, I feel like this may be a better role for you. I feel like this may be the position that would be best for you right now. Or maybe these people, you, you should go and, like, see about with this company. Or see about these people. And that may be better for you. So just let it go and let God, and let God you know what I mean, release it. Whatever it is, it's going to be for the best. We have go get a checkup there. You may find out why. So maybe some of you need to go get a checkup. Maybe you've been feeling a certain type of way. Um, Especially if it's something to do with your health. Now, I'm not telling you what to do, but that's coming through. Like, maybe you need to get checked up on something. Or, um, this for some of y'all. Because, again, it's a general reading. So some random stuff going to come out for people. So maybe, you know, you need to go get a checkup. Like, why you've been feeling... Like, why you've been having headaches or why you've been feeling so tired recently or um, why you've been getting a lot of heartburn. And you're like, okay, I know I'm eating good, but, you know, I'm not really eating nothing that, get, that you know, even when you're getting heart. It may be a symptom of something else that's going on. I'm not trying to scare you, but, you know, a lot of things that be wrong with you, like you tired, it may be a symptom of something else that's wrong with you. Um, you tired, like, no matter how much sleep you get, you're tired or you thirsty all the time or... You know, it can be you know, that's symptoms of different stuff, or you know, you're you're aching, or your head hurt, or you just feel like you don't have any energy, just anything like that. Like maybe you need to go get a checkup, so get something straight. Maybe get your, you know, uh, get your paperwork together, get your insurance together for some of y'all. Like you need to go see what's going on, okay? We have spring. See your seeds grow. Now, spring is right around the corner if you're watching this video right around the time that I'm uploading it. And you may be in spring right now if you're watching this video or, you know, spring will be gone. But I feel like spring, you, you in spring, you will see a lot of the seeds grow. Spring may be an important time for you. You may see a lot of this fertility energy as well, like a lot of fer fertile things, things for growing, fin like finances growing. Um, it's a it's a good time to plant seeds and for them to grow like it's fertile. So you need to work with those energies. Like don't miss out. Mm -hmm. Interesting, because at the bottom of the deck is Oracle. Wait for important information, and you got Tarot and Oracle. So that can be double confirmation with that. So let's get um, 
an angel answers card. Now, you can ask a question if you would like to. Um, but, you know, I can't control what comes out of here. So, I'm going to do my own interpretation anyway. So, you know. Yeah. But you're welcome to if you want to ask a question. So, let's see what y'all got. We have in the near future. So something has gonna be happening in the near future. You're gonna be hearing back from some something in the near future. And then in the near future, it may be like the Congress is in order in the near future. Or maybe you will find out what's wrong with you as well in the near future. If you start practicing and doing what you're supposed to be doing in the near future, you you will, you know, get the certain position or the certain part or anything or like a certain thing that you want in the near future. So, yeah, in the near future, you know, you're going to have, you know, be where you want to be financially. Because right now, you you know, you may be feeling tied down, frustrated with your finances. But then you have the number eight, which is the number of abundance. And then it wants to come out again. So, eight. But, you know, there will be improvements in that area. But like this one, why is this chip like that? I don't like how that look. <laughs> All right. So, let me get two more well actually three and two more numbers so y'all got the most okay so maybe it's a lot of people chose this group so this these numbers can have a significant meaning to you in any type of way you can take these numbers however you want to take them do whatever you want to do it's the same with the letters um i'm not gonna spell too much out with these I probably will spell some stuff, but I'm mostly, you know, going to channel with these letters. So, we're going to see what comes out. And you could do whatever you want to do with these letters or spell anything or channel yourself with these. So, you got 288953. Two eights, so two, a nine, five, and a three. Um, I'm saying onion, so I don't know, like layers. Maybe it's something about layers. You know, onions got layers, so. You know, you know the little thing from a uh, Shrek. Onions uh, got layers, you know. So, so like peeling back the layers, you'll find what you're looking for by peeling back the layers. Mm, right? You'll find what you what you're looking for maybe by diving deep into your cart, um, as well for some of y'all. Some of y'all maybe the, you need an X-ray or like something about an x-ray will reveal something i'm not uh, i'm not diagnosing y'all i'm not a medical professional but maybe some of y'all it's an x-ray that you need to have now this can have something to do with your like with your teeth with your body anything like that with your some of y'all with your head i don't know some of y'all been having headaches i'm not trying to scare y'all but that's just what's coming through here we have o Some of y'all are in, in fashion, like I said, because I'm kind of seeing that here as well. I'm also hearing something about an exam, getting an exam. Maybe some of y'all are taking exams. Some of y'all actually just recently graduated, so congratulations. Something fair, like something is not fair to you or is not fair or this is fair endurance building endurance or enduring the situation endure it ceo something about a ceo that can be for some of y'all maybe some of y'all that's what y'all is or that's what y'all want to be or maybe you will talk to a ceo of some of us a place or something Right, like I feel like you, you guys have a lot of competition. Like you ran, like some of you maybe endurance. You're a runner or something. You ran, um, or something like that. Could be for some of y'all. Eight of Wands can be like fast moving energies. Maybe some of y'all runners. You run. You want to build up endurance. Um, you want to be more athletic. That can be something that's coming through here. Um, see how the me the message is random, like, cause it's general. So peel back those layers. Like practice makes perfect. If you want to build up endurance, you're gonna to have to do like practice, like to build up endurance. Um, like you want to get faster. You want for some of you want to get stronger. Um, again, practicing a certain skill as well. Like practicing a skill to get better at it. And so when you go to do something, you you will come out. Like you will win, or like it will be a new beginning. Um, 
some of you, maybe you need to get a coach when it comes to something like a coach for something specifically or some something like that. Some some person, a professional person that will help you whatever it is you're trying to get into. Um, spring is a good time to start really investing in that. Now, spring starts this year because I'm in 2024 Um, as I'm recording this video. If you're watching this video in the future, if it's still up. Uh, I think it's the, on the start on the 20th this year. I might be wrong. Maybe it's the 21st. I don't know. It could be the 20th. Because I remember, like, I had looked that up. <sighs> I'm hearing something about fact. Like, fact checking. Fact checking something. You need to fact check something first. I'm also hearing something about faxing. Like, somebody faxing something over. Or faxing information over. It's something like that. I also like getting paperwork together. Like, stop avoiding getting this paperwork together far. You feel like something is far. Like, it may seem like it's far away right now, but it's, like, right there for you. It's, like, in the near future, but it feels far away. In the future. Like, I think future is kind of here, too. Future. I don't have a T. And I don't have another U for that matter. But, yeah. Future. Some of you may be thinking about getting a pet. You know, if that's something that you want, just go instead of like you've been like thinking about getting a pet. I don't know. It's, again, it's random messages coming through here. Some of you feel like you have a certain medical condition or disease. You feel like you're showing signs of it, whether it be mental or physical. And that's why you should get a checkup because you don't want to self-diagnose yourself. So you've been looking stuff up. So maybe you should go on and get that checkup because you've been feeling the symptoms of something. Um, Now, you know, it can be something serious or something like that's easily treatable. But regardless, you do need to go get a checkup for something. I'm not telling you what to do. Again, I'm not diagnosing you with nothing. But, you know, if you feel feeling like something, then go get a checkup just to clear your mind as well. And it may not be nothing at all, but just, you know, you should probably do, I'm saying ice, like ice, like icy, so icy, jewelry, maybe some of y'all, maybe you do jewelry, or you want certain jewelry, and you like, I need to make this amount of money if I want this type of jewelry, or to wear these type of clothing, people want different stuff, if some people want material stuff, then yeah, just as long as you're working on your inner self, as well, you're not just relying on material stuff to make you happy, now, for some reason, Spirit wants me to pull one more of these tea leaf cards for y'all, yeah, I'm also seeing doc, doc, like see a doctor. I'm also seeing nurse, maybe some of y'all, nurse, maybe some of y'all are doctors, or you, um, I'm kind of feeling this one, it's happiness. Yeah, happiness is here, right around the corner for you. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then it's like a bird, like freedom. Maybe some of y'all, you know, you're, you're a doctor or you're a nurse. Or some of y'all may be in your residency. I think that's what it's called. Like you're doing, or like you're doing clinicals or something of that nature. Um, are you in medical school? Um, that could just be confirmation that you're reading. Are you work in the medical field? Are you, you know, you're trying to get into that field? But let me see. Yeah, doc. I'm also seeing, kind of seeing nurse. I'm also hearing something about nutrition, like working on your nutrition. Maybe some of y'all nutritionists or something about nutrition, like changing up your nutrition that's going to help with your running or with your physical activity, like you need to adjust your nutrition. I'm hearing something about a drone. I'm not sure why that's coming through here, but I'm hearing drone. They like drone. I'm also hearing flown or fly. So maybe you got to fly somewhere. Uh, you've been flown somewhere. You've flown somewhere recently. Also, I'm hearing NYC. Um, if that resonates for some of y'all. For some reason, I'm hearing Colorado. I'm not, again, this is just random stuff coming through here for some of y'all. Drama, that may make sense to some of y'all. Drama. Okay, but that's all. I can go, I can go on and on. Order, like, last week, that's my order. EOC, nah. Um, I know that there's a, in this state, like some of the kids, I think that's what that test called, the EOC, I might be wrong, but there's like, they got like a test that like the, I think like the middle schoolers or whatever, 
they take a test called EOC, but the fact, not that it's like this specific, specific test, like is in, is in, it's a, a test that they take in this particular state I live in. Maybe they take it in another state, but um, it's a test. Like maybe right now it's a test, like you're going through a test, like just the simple fact that that came through some, a lot of tests, or maybe some of you got to take a certain test to be able to get into a certain field or and you're nervous, like you need to start studying more and do, you know, maybe that's what's coming through, studying, like there's a certain test you got to take to be able to enter this field. And so maybe start studying more. Um, I'm also seeing none. But yeah, that's all I have for everybody. And also seeing care. Fair. F-A-I-R and F-A-R-E. Fair. Or all up in the air, air as well, breathing, breath work, tie. Okay, I, I can be here all day. Okay, that's and then I'm kind of hearing something about the body. That's all I have for everyone who selected group three. Thank y'all for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like the reading. If you would like a private reading from me, all of well, my email is in the description, and you can send me an email. I can hook you up with something now. You know, this group didn't resonate. Or you want to hear a different message, you always walk to pick a different group. That is totally fine. And until next time, wonderful people. Thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. I'm wishing you guys the best with everything. And, um, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys come back for another one. That will be wonderful. Bye. Bye-bye.